everyone welcome back to my channel if you're new here i'm shauna don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like the video if you like it today i wanted to do a styling my boyfriend's clothes video mm. oh. i've seen a bunch of videos where people are styling their mom's clothes or their dad's clothes right now we are in maine and i only have access to tyler's clothes slash I already wear his clothes all the time. So I thought it'd be perfect just to show you how I'm doing that, how I'm saving some money by thrifting my boyfriend's suitcase because we don't have closets right now. We've been living out of our suitcase for about seven months. The first thing I have to do is go around the house and collect all his clothes that he's dropped in places as little gifts to me that I have to clean up later. I've already collected a bunch of clothes that I already wear pretty often as well as a few of my own clothes that I can style everything with. I'm gonna add in a pair of these really nice trousers I got from Jerf Avenue in but I don't ever wear jeans or real pants anymore so those are just for show. So if you don't already know my boyfriend is a huge fly fisherman person. So he has a lot of really outdoorsy clothing as well as functional pieces for fly fishing. Maybe I'll include some of those in here. This is where I'll be finding my clothes, some of them. I've already actually dug through these two little suitcases. Oh yeah, one thing that's that's cool that he does is he puts these balsam fur sachets in his suitcase and in his car as well, and they smell so good. All right, let's go find more of Tyler's clothes that are just lying around the house. I need to go into his car because he always keeps a bunch of random clothes in his car for emergency survival purposes. But first, let's look in this lovely laundry room okay this is nice i'm gonna take this these pants oh my god okay maybe i'll try to style this take this thank you okay i'm not gonna take these because i don't want to break them but no outfit is complete for tyler without a fishing rod i just opened the back of tyler's trunk carefully and all this stuff fell out we have a fishing rod, his little fishing backpack vest that's full of stuff in all the pockets, and his little fishing net, so cute. I'm giving you the full experience here, even though I'm not gonna include this in the try-on. We got his fishing rods, little propane tank back here, emergency water, more fishing rods, this box, the storage box, just full of survival gear. All my tote bags disappear in here for his organization purposes. The sunscreen that I put in here that he never uses, it just comes back burnt every time. I'm like mildly worried that I'm taking all his survival gear and one day when he's out there needing to survive, he's not gonna have these random shirts. There's another little sachet. I'm wearing the same outfit I was wearing in my last athleisure haul. I guess I just really love this outfit. It's the Joe Brown Varsity Tank Bra with my splits. Oh, <laughs> I pulled up my pant legs so I can show you these socks, but first of all, <laughs> these are my splits 59 pants that I got from Revolve. They were in my last haul. Okay, let's just jump into the haul. Tyler and I met on the swim team in college and were really close friends, but didn't start dating until a few years out of school. I bought him these socks as a gift when we were 19 and I wanted to show you them since it's cool he still has them seven years later. Starting with some of the more obvious menswear influenced outfits, I've been borrowing Tyler's flannels for the last few years and didn't own my own until three weeks ago. I love how it looks with something more form-fitting and I appreciate how functional flannels are. They keep you so warm without the bulkiness of a sweater or sweatshirt. I've been wearing them most days as a super laid back but cozy cardigan. Tyler has two flannels, one red and one blue. You can find great and expensive flannels in a lot of places. I like the ones at workwear stores like Rennie's in Maine. You can't go wrong with some flared yoga pants, something more form fitting and then a big oversized something something on top. Tyler has lots of great pieces for layering like this Patagonia windbreaker and the zip up he got from his dad. Love how retro it is. I've also changed into my Aloe Yoga Real Bra Tank, one of my favorite sports bras to work out in. That's what's poking out from underneath these tops, as well as my big buckle Birkenstocks, which have been so easy for grocery runs and for getting more firewood from outside. This is a quarter zip from a brand Tyler and I both love called Cool. This is Tyler's classic fishing hat where he stores a lot of his smaller flies. It hasn't happened yet, but I really don't want any accidental new piercings from these. 
This is another piece we love of Tyler's from Cool. Highly recommend this brand if you're looking for a gift for someone or for yourself. It's a fun alternative to the classic Patagonia or North Face. It's a bit less heard of, but still really well made and has lasted us for years. I say us like I own it too. <laughs> Okay, this is where I try to get a little more daring, and I'm wearing Tyler's cargo pants, the kind that can zip off into shorts at a moment's notice. I can't tell if I look cool or like Kim Possible or both. I look like I'm about to start breakdancing. I look like someone who carries a compass and multiple Swiss Army knives in their pockets. I'm wearing these with my Joe Brown cropped tee, as well as the Aloe Yoga real bra tank right underneath. I'm sick of daydreaming, I just want the feeling of you in my bed Had to get some insta pics in Here we have another retro style layer sweatshirt top Courtesy of Tyler's dad I'm doing all this face up, need some low time baby love this jacket. It's reversible and I actually just ordered a similar one for myself from Aloe. Winter athleisure haul coming in two months. If Tyler's not wearing his fishing hat with all the flies, he's wearing this fuzzy one that keeps you so warm. Give you my hoodie just so you can smell my cologne. Here's where I really transform into a small boy. Though, don't these shorts look so much like the trendy longer ones we're seeing everywhere? Like the $95 sporty rich ones I just returned? Fun fact, these shorts are by the brand Crazy Shirts and the owner of the farm I worked on in Hawaii models for them. You'll see huge posters of him in the stores. Even though it's just a gray shirt, that's mine, not Tyler's, I'm loving the square neck Joe Brown top. It makes me feel very fancy. I finally learned to not be afraid to size up in clothes. It used to be this weird psychological thing where my size was part of my identity and I was afraid I'd look sloppy in larger clothes, but clothes look so much more flattering when they're not popping blood vessels and there's room to breathe. I love my new Jerf Avenue pants here. They are amazing, even though I probably won't wear them until I have somewhere to go that isn't just the grocery store. Tyler and I both love this fleece. It's really nicely structured and neutral looking. I think he got it at some random outdoor shop in the middle of nowhere in California. One of our fave aesthetics. I know you're tired of waiting, but my friends say the same with this quarter zip. It's so cozy. I feel very JJ J Jound. No idea if that's how you call them in these outfits. Also, I did my nails myself and I'm very proud of them. No video about Tyler's clothing would be complete without a bunch of comfy t-shirts with either a fish or a dog on them. All his shirts go missing because I wear them to bed every night. I'm loving brown lately. I think brown is having such a moment right now and I'm here for it. Tyler has so many t-shirts from Anemship Blues. His parents jokingly call it the family uniform. He has it in blue, in red, and white. Tyler recently strayed a bit from Manemsha Blues and bought a bunch of clothes from the Black Dog, like this long sleeve. Both are brands from Martha's Vineyard. that's it i hope you enjoyed this fun video that will maybe inspire you to save some money for things you really want and just get the rest of your clothing from other people thank you so much for watching and i'll talk to you next time